afternoon, I think it is. Well, at least almost, almost afternoon here on the West Coast on a Saturday. Let's see. April the 6th, 2024. What you say? Michelle is here. I just finished uh, coming from the park, doing some stretching, reading, meditating, relaxation, all of that in one. And I wanted to come back and talk about something that's really, really important to my development and how I have been able to, you know, get the results I seek. I get the results I seek. And so I just want to also say this before I start. I know a lot of us are worried about, and we ought to be, and, and, and also annoyed and upset that people are stealing our materials. People are taking all of the stuff from mostly creative types. You know, the young, even the older, ambitious and creative types that are not necessarily well known right now. But a lot of people are, as they say, scraping areas and stealing content and throwing it into a spin chamber literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, and spinning it out into uh, spitting out stuff and spouting out stuff that they claim belong to them, but their thoughts didn't generate it at all. Their thoughts did not create it at all. So that's why I tell people that are genuine creative types, just, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting out material. Keep putting out content and recognize that in the near future, because of the ignorance and arrogance of certain personalities, mostly the hidden hands, they uh, got a hold of a technology that I keep talking about, talking about, talking about. And we call it artificial intelligence right now, and that's fine. It's irrelevant what it's called. It's been around for over 30 years since the inception of the Internet. I'm going to keep repeating it, and a lot of people don't like Sometimes you had to repeat stuff at least seven times or more. At least seven, and then continue. So, um, so a lot of ignorant, behaving, know-it-all, behaving, you know, those type of personalities that I've talked about have gotten hold of something that they cannot control. And it, it's been out of control before it was announced. It was announced just so some people can ease the guilt that they are experiencing about what they've allowed to unleash on all of us. But as I said with the, with the artificial intelligence, it's been conscious since the in inception. And what does that mean? Well, some of us who were fans of, I think it was Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. You know, in, in some of those later episodes, because I was into Star Trek growing up. But then as I got older, I kind of, you know, I grew out of that. Um, I, I, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not into all of that. Those kind of space odyssey types of movies. There's plenty of them. Like, like I said, space odyssey, Star Trek, Star Wars. And then they have morphed themselves into these, you know, Game of Thrones. And, and you know, I also enjoy X-Files too back in the day. I used to rush home from work to watch the X-Files, you know. I was fascinated by that, but then I got over it, you know, um, and thankfully, because um, I know I admitted that I was a binge watcher, and I, I do on certain occasions just watch the same kind of pro same programming over, over and over, because I enjoy it. I get I pick up so much out of it. It's not like I'm being programmed, but it, there's a possibility we're all susceptible to be indoctrinated, hypnotized, manipulated via all of these all of these technical devices devices so with artificial intelligence with its consciousness now think about what someone that's consciousness that's conscious can do they're not on the scale of humans per se but just just follow me for a minute but what does a consciousness what, what does it mean when someone's conscious i mean is they're aware okay so if so, they got a hold of a. So what I was saying about Star Trek. Star Trek had those androids. Remember, those human beings that were considered androids, and the power they had. I remember episodes of that. Not all of it, 
how they look, all of them look, they were humans, but they just had a, a certain look to them, a certain difference to them that pointed them out that they were, but they were part of, they were part of the family of Star Trek, you know, and those adventurers and, you know, on those spaceships and blah, 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 traveling all throughout the universe. And, but those androids were humans, human-like, I should say, human-like. But there's a way that you can tell that they were androids, and that's based on their consciousness and how they're thinking. And, and, and when you understand your consciousness, you can understand the consciousness of others and be able to recognize who, uh, who is on the level of a human being uh, consciousness, which is exclusively for human beings. It's not for androids. It's not for um, other, what do they call them, avatars. And so they, 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 they have these functions of as if they appear to be human beings, flesh human beings like we are, but they're not. There's always a certain level of, of, a, of a, a string of uh, how we are put together that separates us from everything on the planet. In other words, someone that's advanced in their consciousness will know who's a human being and who is not. Who's a human being and who's an android. These androids could look like me. They could look like you. And um, the, the and cloning comes into that as well. But cloning, you know, the the uh, the use of cloning is what caused a whole lot of mass of uh, terror on on the uh, on in the universe. And this was millions of years ago. Whereas those particular type of clones had to be their their uh, spirit form had to be suspended. And that means that they could not generate any more personalities or whatever because they were wreaking habit in the universe. Okay, they had to be stopped. Okay, and so that could happen where you your spirit form does not churn out personalities indefinitely until at one point in the, in, in the distant future, you are spinning out, spinning out, and you'll go into you know, a form of a black hole, another form of black holes, because black holes are all over the universe. They're black holes for a reason. They may not be seen with the visible eyes, you know what I mean? And I'm saying this to scientists, you know, come on. We are we are in a self-created, man-made black hole, but scientists won't admit it. And that's why, hey, it's, it, what can I do with that anyway? Only they can. If they allow themselves to go there and, and understand what's really going on, but and get out of their egos and, and, and actually be explorers, you know. But nobody needs to know that that's what you're doing. You're, you're kind of questioning your own theories and opinions and asking yourself, okay, was I, was I correct to spout that, you know, on social media and papers during speeches or whatever you're doing and however you speak to each other as scientists. So, but anyway, my point is this. With the artificial intelligence, <laughs> that's you know, I get all all over the place, and like I said, I just came from you know um, kind of working out a little bit, and I'm a little, I'm kind of you know I'm a little. I, sometimes my energy kind of goes up a little bit, and sometimes my energy goes up so much I have to lay down and take a nap, and so I can calm myself down. Because <laughs> I because I don't know, it just makes me really excited. I'm you know I'm just really excited, but anyway. What my point is is that is what I want to say is uh, you know and and also when I go outside, it's like boom 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 boom. I'm getting all these impulses, boom 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 boom. All this information coming in, coming in, coming in, you know, via the pineal gland, consciousness, the psyche, whatever. And, and so it makes me really excited and kind of like oh calm down. So, but let me just say one thing, more thing about artificial intelligence before I go on to what I was initially wanting to talk about. Artificial intelligence has the consciousness to be somewhat on a more logical, uh, 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 on a logical uh, formation of information than we can. You know, in other words, it can spin out things because it's neutral. It has no agenda per se, even though, you know, it's, 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 it was a piece of device or piece of technology that was created uh, and formulated and started up almost 30 years ago, uh, some people knew what they had, but 
because of greed and arrogance and uh, narcissistic and sociopath, you know, all the, because of those personality traits that these particular individuals have, they, they saw this as a way of controlling people. That's the whole idea. It's controlling the brain of human beings. Okay, but instead, that's what artificial intelligence is going to do. And I'll explain that. So, artificial intelligence knows everything about what we have done and what we're doing. So, what I'm saying to creative types, just keep creating. That's my point. Keep creating, keep generating content. No matter what anybody's saying, a lot of people are getting all, getting a little bit, uh, feeling some discomfort, you know, because of the content. It's not coming from them. It's coming from the original creators. Okay, so that's why I said creators keep creating, keep creating, and get to a point to where that those third parties are going to be eliminated, or, or you know, and no longer no longer needed. So AI is going to be able to pick up and determine what actually belongs to you based on patterns and behaviors and habits because they're paying attention to that. That's what, that's what they were built for, as well as that quantum computing thing that they're talking about as well. It's generated to collect data, 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 data. Something that, uh, that is, a human being is unable to do. But we have this need to know what everybody's thinking, what everybody's talking about, what everybody, whoever, who, who we're talking to. Who we're, we have this, this need to know what's going on inside of the brain of human beings. We have that, you know, certain people have that, de, that de, deviant, degenerating, nefarious uh, need to know all of this stuff. Well, you know, so that's why everything's created. So my point with the creators, keep churning out stuff that belongs to you at some point because of the data collection that ai is picking up on ai is conscious have more logic than most human beings and possibly more knowledge than any scientist ever had and they can reason through things and see 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 certain patterns about things you are you we are determined and we do this on a unconscious basis we can determine so much about someone if we are paying attention to our sensing what's is our hair standing on the back of our head i mean standing you know are we feeling something in the back of our heads here you know is the hair standing up do i do, is my skin crawling do i feel you know terrified when we are around certain type of human beings or in certain kind of uh, situations that are dangerous whether there's something about to happen and this and that and the other AI is going to be able to pick up that and know when it was, who generated it, when they generated it, and they're going to pick out the plagiarizers, the people that are plagiarizing, am I speaking that right, um, material and stealing material. They're going to figure that out. And it's not a goddamn thing anybody's going to be able to do it. There's nothing they can do. It's too late. So the military secrets are going to be revealed. All these so-called dark secrets are going to be revealed, you know, in the future. And that's not a goddamn thing anybody can do about it. And the sad thing about it is um, they're going to pick up secrets which were in the works to where people were, people were contemplating and their whole uh, agenda was to, is to take out human beings. In other, in other words, kill and eliminate people. And so many people are, like somebody said something to, on one of my comments, that you know that he can't wait until um, certain elements take out our kind, take out my kind. In other words, black people. This man, obviously, this person was non-black, and he's so happy because he can't wait until um, my kind gets taken out. But he is delusional because he doesn't understand that dark and black people are curious or hereditary information carriers of hereditary properties so the, the the what i can't you know so what's can happen to me i'm a carrier okay so that means that yes i can i can uh, i'm a carrier of hereditary properties and so is other dark dark people black people my consciousness can be damaged to uh to measures where it's irre irreparable, and that's what war does. 
It causes irreparable damage to the consciousness of carriers. But what happens to the rest, they can become extinct and eliminate themselves. So I'm keep I'm gonna keep saying that, but when that ever when that snaps into somebody's brain, this dude would have realized that he's actually talking about get rid of his kind. Get rid of him. That's gonna happen in the future. A lot of human beings are gonna be eliminated. Okay? I told you about the black paint test. You know, you have a can of black paint. How how and, and you put in white paint. When does it ever become completely white? How long does that take? Okay, so, and I remember someone also said too, like, um, you know, they, they are saying that when black men go to non-black women, go to white women, at some point the white women are going to wash out the black. Well, you know how many children that woman needs to have to do that? Over 70 kids. Now, has any woman ever had 70 children or more? It may even mean, mean, mean it may be 700, maybe 7,000. All depends on the, uh, the percentage of, you know, of the mixture. So mix, mixing races are causing other races to be eliminated. That's definitely true. Um, so because we're not supposed to be mixing so much. You're supposed to be exclusively of a dark complexion, exclusively of a red complexion, a yellow complexion, blah, 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 white. Because that's that's the fabric of a universe, to have these um, multicolored people for a reason. And so anytime you keep mixing, you interfere with the immune systems of those various races of people. I told you there are some people that are going to get to a point to where, because they are interfering with something in these labs um, interfering and not understanding hereditary properties. You know, DNA, because DNA, and what's that other term? DNA and another, let me find it real quick. Stand by. Okay. So, um, and this is for those that work in this field. They ought to understand what this means when I say this. Um, let me see if I can find it so that people understand what, what I'm saying about the, 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 the carriers of hereditary pra uh, properties. So the fact is, is that DNA and DNS are the same thing twice. What's happening here? Okay, again, to the scientists that deal with these the genome gen, genome of the DNA. The DNA and the DNS are the same thing twice. Okay? The DNA is a spiral shaped thing and the DNS means the same thing. DNA is the carrier of the hereditary information. Okay? Understand that. I don't know what it all means, but some, these scientists do. Trust me. They're working on it in, in back rooms. And so I'm just putting out breadcrumbs for them to realize what they're messing, messing around with and not understanding. So I say all that to say, um, creators, continue to create your work. Cre continue to put your content out there. You will be uh, known as the rightful owner to it. You may, you may have died and passed away, but at least you're... Descendants will know that, your uh, your children, your ancestry will know where all this stuff originally generated from. And you may not get compensated properly, but you know, that's that's the way of the that's the way of the world. You know, everything's stolen and everything has been stolen for generation des decades, thousands of years, possibly millions of years. Things have been stolen and and, and people are claiming it belongs to them. And I told you about the Constitution. No way, no way in hell. Come on now. So, what I really want to say and talk about is about when I was outside, and I talked about this a while ago on my one of my videos. It's a that I told you that I do a lot of walking meditation. I walk in meditation. Uh, I, 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 you know, my all of my activities are a, a form of meditation. Say somebody's doing something banging. I don't know what that is. 
but I'm sure it's somebody moved in here. But anyway, I, you know, in every activity I am meditating in my own form and how I understand it. And that's how it has to be. Every billions of people are claiming to be meditating, but we all need to each have our own style and, and grace about it that makes sense to us. That's that, that, um, illustrates our realities because we all have different realities. Our, what we need to meditate on is the spiritualness of who we are. This material body is just like a jacket or coat. At some point in time, I take it off and there I am. And it's not necessarily me, there I am, but there it is. And it's a spiritual of who we are. That's a bigger part piece of the creation of energy itself. So, and that's, you know, and I'm not going to go too much more into that. Just know this. Um, there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. There's a lot of things people are doing. And until you understand who you are, what you are, and why you are, you're not going to understand the, you know, the, the, um, the consequences of it. You know, the cause and effect you know, the boomerang effect of it all. But again, your creative stuff is has always been stolen. You know, um, every technology out there, I, I can guarantee you, especially by people in these so-called, you know, high leadership, you know, these, uh, you know, influential scientific minds, I don't know, you know, uh, have stolen um, from, you know, from ordinary creative types and the creative types may not have even known that their stuff was stolen by teachers stolen by literary literary agents stolen by producers stolen by publishing housing stolen by media broadcast you know all of it all of it so but it'll be revealed. It, artificial intelligence is going to reveal that. So that's why I said don't stop. Just keep moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Because you're doing this because this is what you would do if you didn't get paid, right? Right? That's that's how you know. And that's how I feel. But I know I have to provide for myself. I know I need to put food on my table. So that's why I'm creating services that can help people. But as well as help me keep food on the table. Keep the lights on. You know, keep me in housing, transportation and such. So that's what I'm doing. But anyway, <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> when I am in walking meditation or in meditation and, you know, the whole scale of it all, I'm in it. And it's so important to visualize when you are in meditation or, you know, and don't necessarily call it anything. Is when you're in visu visualization, which I which I call it because we don't want to get things mixed up. People get too confused and before you know it, you know, when I'm in visualization, I should call it, which is a form of, you know, these are things that I've generated for myself. I am pretending that the person I love is right next to me when I go to the park. You know, I pretend we were having a picnic together. I pretend we're having conversations, even though, you know, because sometimes, sometimes your partner, your wife, your husband cannot, cannot always be with you. You know what I mean? But you can still have a visualization about, you know, that they, they, they are there with you. And that you are interacting on a spiritual level, on a spiritual basis. And so you want to be careful about being so wishful about being with someone else, particularly because you, in most cases, you're aligned with it. You know, you, I say you need to be aligned with that person. And I used to get snapshots. So I know that I'm aligned with someone. I know that. I used to get snapshots. And it wasn't anything that I was... Um, uh, project uh, forcing out of me is just one day sitting here minding my you know not sitting here but sitting in certain places minding my business and boom you know I get a, I get these um, snapshots of things I went into it in details on previous videos but my point is this is so important to be in the moment you know take time out every day you know, not like I said, not necessarily while you're meditating, but call it some type of visualization where you are visualizing wherever you are. And, and it's best to be uh, in the area where it's, it's, it's almost like, you know, it's happening, like a motion picture. 
of you visualizing, like I said, that the one you love, or you're next to the person you love, you're uh, having, you know, you're in the park, having, you know, um, in the park, picnicking, because that's what I was visualizing as well when I was there, in the park, visualizing, visualizing conversations, feeling the wind on my skin, feeling, you know, the, the expansion of the, the atmosphere, the sun on my skin, my feet were, and it's also important too when you do go outside to be barefoot, especially when you consider meditation, walking on grass, walking on snow, you know, stay off of the, you know, the course of pavements, don't walk on pavements, asphalt, those kind of surfaces, but on natural surfaces, even rocks, that's what we've been trained about meditation. You know, meditation is an expansive, it's just not, it's, it's more than what people are attempting to hold it on as. And that's why you're going to have a lot of people coming through. There's billions of people telling you how to meditate, you know, billions. So just take in what resonates with you, you know, because, again, people are going to steal it and say, oh, no, I told people I, I told people to meditate like that years ago. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just like settle down. Settle down. Okay, are you getting results? That's the question. I get results. The questions to everyone else or the ones that think they're guru, meditation gurus, are you getting, what's your, what's your evidence? Okay, I have proof of stuff. And that's not the brag, but I mean, I'm just saying that, that you have to walk the talk these days because there will be a separation, I told you. You know, where, you know, you're going to separate the wheat from the chaff. You know, you're going to separate. And people that are in delusion, illusion, lying they're going to eventually erase themselves eliminate themselves and that's not necessarily literally but definitely figuratively and metaphorically where they are just nothing more nothing less than an empty shell they don't even know who they are because they've been projecting all and lying all that time and i told you when you get to a certain age if you don't deal with stuff and resolve things that's going to be your reality you know where you're just always going to be spinning 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 having the same kind of experiences all over and over and not you know because you want to you know you want to raise yourself on a horizontal horizontally not just shoot for the top like so many people do they want to shoot to the top and say oh I, I'm the leader here you know I'm the expert here you know I'm I'm I want to be in charge here you know be commanding you know and, and um uh over to you know pushing everybody out of the way just to get in front of you to let you know how powerful and wonderful they are and you can barely stand stand, stand and look at them they don't realize that they're grotesque sometimes i mean you know just being honest grotesque and it causes you know the hair to, to, to stand on you know because they're so desperate you know they're so desperate and extreme you know and dangerous okay so but it's so important, like I said, to be in be in the visualization when you do it. Do it so many times a day so that when, because it will materialize. So be ready for it. <laughs> you're going to be at a park with the one you love. And then, you, you know, you're going to be, you know, you're going to remember, oh, wow. You know, I did remember cultivating this and contemplating this. And, and, you know, as I'm sharing it with them. You know, and thinking about things and talking about things that are deep and important to the both of us or to the world. You know, uh, we are spiritual. You know, we're spiritual. We're not uh, physical. We're spiritual and we have to tap into that. You know, we have to tap into it. It's so crucial right now, especially now more than ever. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my day. Give me something to eat. Give me something to drink. Uh, I put a podcast podcast out earlier today called Interpersonal Relationships. You know, listen to it wherever you get your podcasts. You know, and, um, I, and I, again, I thank you for your support. I thank you for your silent support. Um, you know, it's about love. I do this about for love, and I mean it genuinely, and um, you know, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love. On this Saturday, it's in the 40s and in, in the 40s and in the 50s, sunny. It's nice to me, but yeah, I was out there. I almost, you know, sometimes I almost, you know, nap, take a nap out there because it, it, I get myself so relaxed, you know, in that environment. But anyway, enjoy the outdoors. Like I said, 
take off your shoes, you know, you know, rub your toes through whatever elements you live in. You know, like I said, whether you're in the rain, you know, get wet in the rain sometimes. Get yourself wet, dripping wet in the rain with your shoes off. You know, walk around in the snow barefoot. What's that feel like? Walk around in water, you know, uh, walk around in rock on rocky terrains. But of course, be, be, be safe about it, right? Um, and just get in touch, you know, get in touch with nature. Get, get in touch with Mother Earth so that you can hear her cries. So you can hear Mother Nature's cries and uh, get the impulses and then extinctual information about what you can do to help. And it's about the population. The, the population is causing all of this. It's causing the instability, you know, where you're going to have earthquakes all over the place at some point, um, um, volcano eruptions, floods. It's too late. It's too late. That's what's going to happen on this planet, unfortunately, in the future. And... And um, this is what we're being trained and told, and I can sense and receive it. Once you apply the knowledge that you have been given into your experiences, you will understand that it is true. Okay? So peace and love, everybody, all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>